Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. The UEFA Women's Champions League is back and Lyon will be facing Benfica in the first leg of the quarterfinals. Lyon is hoping to come away with a win and, of course, <laughs> grab as many goals as they can in the process. However, Benfica in the Champions League group stage prove they can hold their own against stronger teams. In their last group meeting with Barcelona, Benfica was able to hold Barcelona to a 4-4 draw and could prove to be a challenge for Lyon. Alright, so it's been a while since I covered Lyon on my channel, but I've still been keeping an eye on this Lyon team. Lyon recently played against Fleury in both the Coupe de France and in the regular season. Lyon would lose on penalties to Fleury in the Coupe de France semifinals, but would win 4-0 against Fleury in the D1 Arkema regular season. Both matches proved to be a challenge for the Lyon team as they struggled to break through Fleury's backline in defense. In the regular season match, Lyon would grab two early goals in the first half, but their next two goals would come late into the second half. While Lyon can get their attack forward and does have firepower in the attack with players like Diani, Arahegaberg, Delphine Cascarino, Eugenie Losomer, Melchi Dumornay, and Sarah Dubritz, to name a few, the challenge for Sonia Bompastor's team in this match will involve breaking through Benfica's backline in defense. Like in the matches against Fleury, Lyon will have no problem maintaining control and possession against Benfica. But how Lyon goes about breaking through Benfica's backline in defense could prove to be difficult if Lyon doesn't come out with a quick and aggressive attack right from the get-go. Another challenge for Lyon will involve their defensive play in the midfield, especially in regards to Benfica's counterattacks and transitions. Lyon in past matches have displayed a strong attacking presence in the midfield. However, on a few occasions, the team would still um, would get caught off, caught off guard when the opposing team would counter. This is where Lyon's defensive play in the midfield, their ability to recover possession, win those battles in the midfield, and shut down Benfica's attack is going to be essential. While Lyon is predicted to maintain the most control and possession in this match, there are still going to be moments where Benfica will try to get their attack forward and may even be successful at getting their attack forward. So Lyon, in that case, needs to be prepared to respond. Overall, in past matches, though, the Lyon backline has done well to shut down opposing teams' counterattacks and recover possession. While Lyon is predicted to come away with a win <laughs> and many goals in this first leg, Benfica is still a team Lyon shouldn't take lightly. But the same could be said about <laughs> this point in the Champions League right now when it comes to all the teams. No team right now should be taken lightly. That being said, let's get into the lineup for this match. All right, so the lineup. We have Tian Endler in the goal for defenders Ellie Carpenter, Grieg Embach, Salma Basha, and Vanessa Gilles. For midfielders Lindsay Horan, Zara Debritz, and Amal Majri. For forwards Delphine Cascarino, Eugenie Losomer, and Diani. It's an interesting lineup. <laughs> Ada Hegeberg isn't available for this match, but there is still strong goal scoring potential with players like Losomer, Diani, Cascarino, Haran, and Debritz, who was able to grab two goals in Lyon's last match against Fleury. I do believe Dumernay would have also benefited Lyon's attack in this half, but it's likely she'll come on in the second half and, well, do just that. <laughs> As long as there's good connection in the attack and Lyon can finish their chances, especially finish their chances, the attack should be all right in this match. I still think the main area of concern is how Lyon will respond to Benfica's counterattack and whether they'll be able to shut down Benfica's attack when they do eventually get forward. Besides that, this match is likely to go Lyon's way once they get settled into the game. So yeah, I want to keep this short. Let's get into the first half. All right, so the first half, we are off. I'm also aware Lyon has played Benfica back in 2021 when they were in the Champions League group stage. Lyon came away with 5-0 wins in both games. 
A lot has changed since then, and since women's football has grown a lot over the past couple of years, Benfica could pose a challenge to Lyon. Alright, so Benfica are in a 3-4-3, Lyon are in a 4-3-3. One minute, ball behind the Benfica back line, Lostomer cross kicked away. And that's actually a good start from Lyon. Long ball to the Lyon side, kicked away by Endler. Benfica cross goes wide, Bacha foul, handball, Benfica ball. <laughs> Two minutes, bad touch by Embach, given away. Majri fouled, pulled down, Lyon ball. Three minutes, Majri fouled again, Lyon ball. Four minutes, through ball, up for Diani, kicked away. Haran up to Losomer, too much behind it. Five minutes, Benfica cross, Carpenter recovers. Six minutes, Benfica attempt off the post, cleared. Endler might have got a touch on it. The Brit seems lower than usual. Or she's playing lower than usual. 10 minutes, um, yeah, 10 minutes in and Leon is facing pressure in the midfield. Truthfully, their movement and control in the midfield needs to be better because it's slightly concerning. But then again, it's only been 10 minutes. 11 minutes, long ball to the Leon box, Embach back to Endler. Haran battling through the midfield, shaking off players. Benfica player down, stepped on by Haran. Haran moving through the midfield like that was really good. We need to see that same level of aggression in the midfield from Leon in this match. All right, 13 minutes, the Benfica player, Reisler, who Haran stepped on, is coming off. Seems to be more a more serious injury than expected. Um, hopefully she recovers soon. 15 minutes, game starts up again. Um, they showed the replay of um, Reisler going down and Haran did not step on her. She could have hurt herself when um, with how she landed. 17 minutes, Benfica corner kick. Leon's defending on set pieces is sus sometimes. Short Benfica attempt goes over. Cascarino in the box up to Losomer. Losomer plays it back. Haran attempt blocked. Diani attempt blocked. 18 minutes, Losomer attempt blocked. 19 minutes, Carpenter fouls. Benfica ball. 20th minute, Bacha attempt from D goes over. Cascarino cross kicked away. 21 minutes, Diani cross blocked. 22 minutes, Leon corner kick headed away. Carpenter cross and Bach header saved. Cascarino uh, cross blocked. 23 minutes, Leon corner kick headed over. And Bach down, she's okay. 24 minutes, Leon corner kick, nothing from it. Haran fouls, Benfica, uh, Benfica player down. Haran may have caught her in the head with her arm. She's okay. I think Haran got a warning though. 26 minutes, game starts up again. 29 minutes, big, um, big collision between a Benfica player and Lyon player. It's Bacha. Bacha went over the back of the Benfica player. It looks like Bacha landed on her head, but it's hard to say for sure. Bacha is okay, but she's being given a yellow card for that. Um, yeah, both players are okay, so that's good. 30, or <laughs> Bach is confused though. Um, she kind of started it, let's be honest. 32 minutes, long ball to the Leon box, kick back to Endler. Majri cross, um, kicked away. 34 minutes, her ran up for Cascarino, kicked away. 35 minutes, Majri pulled down, no foul. Carpenter cross, Majri, Majri can't put it in. It's like watching Wolfsburg. Good services, no connection or finishing. 36 minutes, Cascarino cross, Losomer attempt, saved. Recoveries have been good from Leon, so that's a plus. 38 minutes, Benfica cross, cleared. 39 minutes, Cascarino making a run, defended away. 40th minute, Benfica player down, trainers out to check on her. 42 minutes, bad giveaway in the midfield from De Britz. Benfica making a run, Benfica scores, Benfica 1-0. Yeah, that was awful from Leon. How do you make a mistake like that? That's very Seattle rain of you, too. Also, why is De Britz back there? <laughs> 43 minutes, Cascarino cross kicked away. 44 minutes, Benfica takes it off Gilles. Benfica attempt saved. Another bad mistake in the midfield and defense. Seven minutes of added time. No control in Lyon's midfield right now. 47 minutes, De Britz fouls. Benfica free kick. 49 minutes, Bacha fouled, Leon free kick outside the box. Gilles heads it across, defound it away. That was another good chance for Leon. 50th minute, Leon cross goes out. 51 minutes, ball to the Leon box, Carpenter chases it down. Carpenter fouled. 
52 minutes to whistle blown, first half ends, Benfica 1 0. All right, so it's not going well for Leon. This was a disappointing half for the Leon team. A misplaced pass from De Brits to Embach would get picked off by a Benfica player, and Benfica would score. Then Benfica almost scored again after stealing the ball off Gilles. Like, this is what happens when the backline in midfield let their guard down for like a moment. Or just being too lax. <laughs> Leon was a bit shaky at the start and appeared to find a good attack and ri attacking rhythm as the match went on. The attack was getting forward with Cascarino doing well when it came to getting behind the back line and getting into the box. Her crosses and services have been good. However, the connection in the box and finishing hasn't been good. <laughs> Um, there's something missing in the attack, and going into the second half, we need to see more urgency and intensity from the Leon attack, especially when it comes to getting forward and moving through the midfield. Additionally, we need to see better control and movement in the midfield. Leon earlier was doing well moving through the midfield despite facing pressure from Benfica. Leon can come back in the second half to win this. However, they need to approach the second half with a different mentality. A different plan of attack because whatever's going on right now isn't working for them. So that being said, let's get into the second half. All right, so the second half, we are off. 45 minutes, Diani cross, Cascarino heads it back, her ran attempt blocked. Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> 46 minutes, back to Endler, almost a misplaced pass, Endler clears. 47 minutes, Diani brings it up, played into the box, no one goes for it. Um... Just from what I'm seeing so far, there's no bite in the attack, if that makes sense. I mean, I figured Leon was going to be challenged, but I guess the question now is if they can step up to the challenge. 50th minute, Benfica cross, rolls back. Benfica attempt from outside goes wide. Bad defending, bad response. What more can you say? 51 minutes, Benfica corner kick, short, sent in, headed wide. 53 minutes, Benfica cross, kicked away. Benfica cross again, headed away. 54 minutes, Leon substitution. Majri and Los Somer out, Damaris and Dumornay in. Benfica corner kick, defended away. 55 minutes, Benfica cross, headed away. Leon can't handle pressure in the midfield at the moment. 56 minutes, Bacha cross, no one there. 57 minutes, long ball to the Leon side, Endler kicks it away. Benfica offside. 58 minutes, Bacha cross, Diani header, saved. Cascarino is probably the only threatening thing about the Leon attack right now. 61 minutes, ball up for Diani. Diani making a run. Diani attempt, saved. Good play by Diani. <laughs> so I guess Diani is also another threatening thing in the attack right now. <laughs> 62 minutes, Carpenter cross, Dumornay touch, Cascarino scores. Leon, 1-1. One, one. Well deserved by Cascarino given how hard she's been working in this game. Grabbing and holding De Brits isn't a foul. That should have been a foul call. You would think that player wants to date with um, date De Brits with how much she's been holding her. 65 minutes, Carpenter fouled, grabbed, Benfica yellow card. Leon free kick, ball sent in, saved. 67 minutes, Diani cross kicked away. De Brits attempt goes just wide. Bump, <laughs> bump past door, pointing to her watch. 69 minutes, Cascarino cross, kicked away. 70th minute, Du Mornay cross, save. Bon Pastor, frustrated. <laughs> 71 minutes, Leon offside. 72 minutes, Diani attempt, blocked. Diani attempt from the rebound, saved. Du Mornay can't put it in, saved. Haran attempt goes wide. 73 minutes, Carpenter attempt goes wide. 74 minutes, uh, Leon corner kick headed away. 75 minutes, Haran foul, tripped. Leon free kick. 76 minutes, Leon substitution, Diani out, Becho in. Leon free kick, ball sent in, kept in play, Dumornay attempt blocked, Becho scores, but offside. Come on, that was so good too. 78 minutes, Haran crossed, the Brits scores, Leon 2-1. Now I want to date the Brits. <laughs> All right, so Leon's back line is another story though. What are you doing? Just close out the game. 81 minutes, Becho down, holding her ankle, trainer is out to check on her. Coming off, not sure if she'll continue. 83 minutes, Becho is back in. 84 minutes, Haran, Becho, Becho cross, defended away. Benfica cross, Endler saves. 85 minutes, ball taken off, Bacha, Benfica cross, defended away. Debritz fouled, shove, Leon free kick, ball sent in, goes wide. 
87 minutes. Ball up to Dumornay. Dumornay goes down in the box. Shub, no foul. And offside. 88 minutes. Betro Cross goes over. 89 minutes. Long ball to the Lyon side. Headed away. 90th minute. Cascarino cross. Her ran attempt saved. 4 minutes of added time. 91 minutes. Embok down. Stepped on. No foul. 92 minutes. Cascarino grab. Benfica yellow card. Cascarino yellow card um, for pushing the Benfica player after the fact. <laughs> um, 93 minutes. Lyon corner kick. Short sent in. Blocked. Her attempt blocked. 94 minutes, whistleblown, second half ends, Lyon wins, 1-2. So this was a somewhat better performance from Lyon. The attack was able to get forward and we saw more attempts on goal from Lyon. The build-up plays were a lot better as well and there was better connection in the box. Cascarino in both halves proved to be a key player in many of Lyon's build-up plays. Her hard work would pay off when she was able to score Lyon's first goal. There was better um, better control from Lyon in the second half as well as better movement in the midfield. Despite the better performance from Lyon in this second half, there are still things this team is needing to work on, like managing pressure in the midfield, maintaining a sense of urgency in the attack, and just having better awareness in the back line. Um, overall, this was a good performance where Lyon was challenged by Benfica, a challenge Lyon may not have been expecting. It was great to see Lyon come back to win it in the second half. It's great that Lyon will go into their next meeting with Benfica 2-1 on aggregate. However, <laughs> I can't help but think Lyon in this match made things more difficult for themselves. More difficult than it needed to be. From here on out, the challenges aren't going to get easier. If Lyon wants to continue their Champions League run, they have to be ready to face these challenges. Right now, the team's biggest challenge isn't Benfica, it's themselves. <laughs> um, for now, I'm just going to leave it at that. That was a fun match, in all honesty. <laughs> um, that is all I have for you guys today or tonight, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.